Did you know that there's a free tutorial already included in the software in Wirecast? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running and started with that tutorial so you can teach yourself all the basic concepts of how to use Wirecast. It's how I learned and it's how I recommend most new users who've never used the software before teach themselves. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast you are, but it's great and you can always pick up where you left off if you need to stop and come back to it. So let me show you how to get started. Once you open Wirecast, you'll be prompted to open a tutorial document, or if you're not, just head over to the help menu and choose the open tutorial HTML. This will open the tutorials HTML file on our website, which has a walkthrough of three basic tutorials. It also has instructions for installing and getting started with Wirecast and other things. These three tutorials will take you from the basic concepts of how to operate Wirecast to editing your shots and composing your projects to the broadcasting and output section of Wirecast. Once you've opened your tutorial HTML file, which is also located in your user guide, head over to your help menu again and open the create document for tutorial option. This will open a new Wirecast project specifically designed to help you through the tutorial. It has all the shots and items already added into the project that you need to go through the tutorial step by step. And that's it. You're ready to start walking through the tutorial. Now, just to get you started, I'm going to show you the first two things that the tutorial asks you to do. It's going to ask you under the tutorial prep section to first switch on auto live. By that it means head up to your switch menu and choose auto live. This will put a check mark next to the auto live option, letting you know that the go button is now always active. This is also indicated by the red light on the go button. All this means is that whatever you click on will automatically go live. You don't have to press any other buttons in order to make something appear in the live broadcast area. Whatever shots you click on will then go immediately to the live broadcast area. The other step the tutorial asks you to do is to go to the layout menu and choose the show live only option. So let's head over to the layout menu and choose the show live only option and that will make just the broadcast area visible. This is also quickly accessible by using the three buttons up in the upper right corner. The green and red button for both the live and preview, just the green for the preview, and just the red for the live. That is how you can quickly change the layout in Wirecast to just the window that you want to focus on. All right, that's it. You're ready to go for the tutorial. Now just follow along as it teaches you the basic concepts using the tutorial document that you've created. I hope that's helpful. If you want other resources and video tutorials, we have a ton more on our website at www.telestream.net slash Wirecast. Thanks for watching, and I hope this will get you started.